Welcome to Spotlight. I'm your host, Amita. Join me weekly as I talk to inspiring guests who will share their success stories and transformational events. Our guest today is an exceptional immigrant success story. From being a simple person to founding the multi-award winning company Clean For Me Inc. to being the current Ward 6 counselor in the city of Markham, this female entrepreneur and community leader is a well-deserved recipient of the 2015 RBC Top 25 Immigrants Award. We are excited to learn that she has decided to run for the Liberal nomination in the new provincial riding for Markham Unionville. It's my honor to welcome to our show, Councillor Amanda Young Kolukchi. So nice to have you here. Thank you very much for having me, Amit. And you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I love saris. They're just so beautiful and so gorgeous. I think that I actually have like eight of them at home. Wow. <laughs> All different colors. I need to come visit you and learn <laughs> yeah. from you. See, this is why she is the right community leader for us. We're going to find out soon. But uh, before that, tell us a little bit more about your growing up, how you came to Canada, and your life in general in Canada before you entered the political scene. Yeah, so I was actually born and raised in Hong Kong, and I came from a very, very humble background. My parents are working class. I have to start helping my parents since I was a kid, and uh, just to feed the family, right? Mm -hmm. So we are seven people living in an apartment about like, you know, 100 square feet. So it's very, very humble background. So I value the hard work that you know everybody have to put in to achieve their success and I do believe that you know we have to have dreams if mm. we don't have dreams then we have no goals to reach for so that is really um, you know my my humble beginning um, I was very very fortunate that I was able to uh, immigrate to Canada such a diverse and multicultural uh, country and uh, really welcoming uh, all the immigrants in the 1990s and uh, at that time um, you know I went back to school and then um, I had to actually work as waitress to support myself uh, mm. through schools and um, I was very lucky and fortunate to um, to be able to get into York University and where I study economics which is good um, you know having that education background allow me to find good jobs and then I work at the IT industry and then later I work at IBM for over 10 years um, mm -hmm. in sales and marketing and I've been increasing you know, responsibilities and roles within the, the company mm -hmm. but then um, after I had two kids I started to ask myself like what I really, really wanted to do in my life, right? So mm -hmm. um, then I decided to uh, start my own company. So I uh, have this uh, cleaning company. And having this cleaning company is also giving me uh, an avenue to serve the public. Mm -hmm. And especially uh, the cleaning company actually donated thousands of um, dollars of free cleaning services to women cancer patients. Wow. Yeah, oh, so I found it is very, very meaningful. And since then, I've been very, very active in the community, including to help fundraise for Markham Stouffer Hospital, um, uh, supported uh, Markham Jazz Festival, and I'm also uh, a constant member of uh, the school parents council for the two kids that, you know, they, the, the school that they go to. Wow. So I've been very, very active in the community. So, um, you know, I think that how I really kind of entered the political life is when the local councillor decided to run in another ward. So where I live kind of left empty. So I thought that, you know oh. what, if this is the case, um, I've been very active in the community and doing a lot of things. I may as well put my name in the hat and see what happened. Love it. So, um, you know, after one try, here I am as a counselor. <laughs> well, we are so happy to have you as counselor. And uh, wow, what an amazing story. You seize the opportunity. You just like uh, change the status quo. Like you wear multiple hats. That's yeah. great. And I think that's why you also talk, give talks on entrepreneurship yes, at the I Centennial do. College and Seneca College. That's so right. you inspire lots and you're inspiring us today. So now tell us, uh, since you've taken office as counselor, 
what are some of the things that have been achieved as per your your goals for Markham? Yeah. So I'm the chair, uh, co-chair for Canada Day, and I'm also vice chair for budgets as well. So I think that you know, being um, having these two portfolio, um, I'm able to number one um, hold the the largest uh, Markham celebration of Canada Day uh, ever, right? So over thirty thousand people Ooh. attended uh, mm -hmm. to celebrate Canada One Fifty. And then um, as vice chair of budget, that is always my goal to keep the taxes low. But at the same time, we also have to be very fiscally responsible in a way that we have money to set aside to renew our infrastructure if it is needed. Mm -hmm. So those are very important things that um, you know, I achieve as city of Markham. And obviously, you know, being a mother of two, you know, mm -hmm. have uh, school, school kids, right? Um, so my focus is also to improve and enhance the uh, safety, the traffic safety around the school area. So this is something that I've been always advocating for. Um, obviously, you know, I also have an 80 year old mom uh, who actually lives with me. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm also very focused on helping the seniors to fight for their benefits. So to be their voice, to be their advocate for their needs in the community. Mm. Um, Again, you know, I got two young kids, so I'm really pay attention to the needs and the requirements that is really to be able to help the, the youth in the community um, to build their leadership skills, to build their sense of community in involvement. And um, so I'm also helping them to I have actually a, a, have a nickname. It's called Community Mom. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, because I'm helping so much youth in the community. Yeah, so I can see why. Because it's a Community Mom or Universal Mom. Because yeah. you are, you're helping uh, uh, people from different walks of life, That's all right. ages. Uh, you do everything. And it's not just one culture. I know the provincial yeah. riding Markham Union will have, it's multicultural. Absolutely. Uh, maybe a predominance of Chinese and yeah. South Asians, but there's a lot of different yes, people there. Yes, absolutely. So. Yeah, so like right now, I actually am uh, very fortunate that I actually just uh, got nominated to represent the Liberal Party, um, the Ontario Liberal Party, to run in the provincial um, election in 2018. And uh, Markham Unionville is a very, very, very diverse community because, you know, I knock on doors a lot and I speak to residents and you know when people open the door I know who lives there right so there's very diverse um, it's really com um, consists with like Chinese uh, South Asians white you know like all kinds of you know people with different background just like myself right mm -hmm. so um, I think that it is very important to really understand each of each one of them of what they need and, you know, to hear the voices of the community. Well said. Yeah. And we want to find out more about the needs of your particular community. But before that, it's time for a short break. Welcome back to Spotlight. We are talking to Councillor Amanda Young Colucci, and she's running for the Liberal nomination in the provincial riding for Markham Unionville. So first of all, Councillor, tell us a bit about your community right now. Well, actually, um, the Markham Unionville uh, community, like I mentioned before, that is really diverse, right? So it really consists of different ethnic and different background and religious and stuff like that. So I do believe that we need to embrace the diversity. Mm -hmm. And I believe that diversity is really what makes Markham Union feel beautiful. And, um, you know, not only that, like we have Chinese, South Asian, you know, Caucasians. And, um, you know, when I host different community events, like, you know, summer barbecue, or that recently we just had a, um, a back to school fun fair, mm -hmm. uh, we also hosted the first ever Diwali celebration wow. in War 6. That's interesting. The first South Asian yes. event hosted by you. How did that come exactly. to be? Exactly. Yeah. So because, you know, like I, I talk to residents a lot. Mm. And uh, obviously, you know, some of the, the residents say that like, well, you know what, Councillor Colucci, you know, it is this great that you have a summer barbecue and have, you know, summer fun and stuff like that. What about some cultural experiences, celebration, 
cross-cultural celebration. So I said, absolutely, right? So and then um, obviously, you know, uh, with the help of uh, residents, we actually organized and hosted the first ever celebration, uh, Diwali celebration in more six. Mm -hmm. um, it was never done before, and I'm yeah. really, really proud uh, to be the one, the, the, the one counselor who actually um, did it the first time. And um, obviously, you know, not only uh, Diwali celebration, we also do uh, Chinese New Year celebration and Christmas celebration nice. to, you know, fit in to basically accommodate the diverse face of uh, Markham Union feel as well. Amazing. Now, um, obviously, you know, within the, the community, there are lots of concerns and there mm. are lots of uh, um, things that they want me to be their advocates for, such as like sustainable housing, traffic, transit issue. Mm. Those are the things that is really top of of people's mind. I mean, obviously, you know, senior and youth, I'll continue to advocate for them. But I think that those are the things that is really, um, you know, people most talk about, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they want a, a, a nice place to live. They, mm -hmm. they want their kids to be able to go to school safely. Um, they want to have a beautiful community that, um, you know, we all we can all be proud of. Mm. So I, I think that, you know, being, having lived in Markham Unionview for so long, over 16 years, and, you know, the two kids were born and raised there, and, you know, my whole family lived there. Um, you know, I, I know the need of the community. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, listening to you, I want to be in your riding because you're a community you leader. You should to Marco. Yeah, I should because you're a community leader who listens to the people. Yes. And I just love the fact that you do. Yeah. And uh, just uh, you being from Hong Kong originally, but mm. a proud Canadian right now. Yes. But you're helping different cultures. Yes. And that's great. And that's why we are so excited that a councillor is running for liberal nomination in the provincial Our, Actually, riding. I already won the nomination. That's I, what I am you the just candidate. say. You're the candidate. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm the candidate date. now. So I already won the nomination. Awesome. So I'll be running the 2018 general election. Awesome. And we are going to support Councillor because of all that we have heard today that she's doing to make Markham better. Yeah. I wanted to shift a bit of our focus. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are helping all the different cultures. Yes. But right now, shift a bit to our South Asian community absolutely, in Markham. Absolutely, absolutely. So we heard a little bit about the first Diwali event, yes. but I understand that you have been also part of many other uh, yes. South Asian events and organizations. Yes. So tell us a bit absolutely, more. Absolutely, yeah. So in my writing, you know, there's a Indian temple and also Sri Lankan temple. And, um, you know, I really embrace, um, you know, every... Uh, culture. Um, so, you know, I supported the Sri Lankan temple, you know, they had held uh, different events such as like, you know, tree planting or the community cleanup. So I was part of it as well. So I took part mm. of it. Um, you know, um, not to mention, I mean, obviously, um, Diwali is one of the biggest celebration, right? Festival of light. And also another one, which is Festival of Color, which mm. is also a very important uh, celebration as well. Yeah. So I also participated in that as well. Um, you know, there's uh, also um, a large uh, Pakistani uh, community in my riding as well. So um, I also go to the mosque and the Muslim mosque and, you know, to celebrate their the celebration. Eat celebration, which is also a very important um, festival of uh, the, the Pakistani and the, the Muslim uh, community as well. Mm -hmm. So um, those are the things that I, I actually have a lot of fun uh, participating and going to those events and to just have fun and enjoy good time with residents to celebrate with them. That's awesome. And that's how the community comes together and yes. grows to better high. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and it's not just here though that you're helping the South Asian community. Again, once we're focusing on the community, yes. you are also doing activities in India. Yes. Tell well. us a bit about the trade mission that you accompanied the mayor with. Yeah, so um, I was very fortunate to be able to uh, go to India with um, our the mayor, Frank Scarpiti. And uh, at that time, um, actually Premier Kathleen Wynne was also visiting um, India as well. So we were able to kind of piggyback and, you know, join their trade mission a little bit as well. But I went to uh, New Delhi, Mumbai, um, Mumbai, uh, Hyderabad, and all those cities, Kolkata. Um, it is really, truly an eye-opener mm. for me, um, being first time ever in India, 
and yet also travel to so many different cities. Um, each of the city has th have their own character. And I was able to meet with the local officials as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it is a great, fantastic uh, train mission that I I, I participated. Um, not to mention that I also met with a lot of entrepreneurs, business owners, that they also wanted to have this, not only the cultural exchange, but also business exchange as well. Mm. So they wanted to know, you know how they can uh, invest in Markham and you know, vice versa, right? So bring Markham uh, to India as well. So it is really, really great experience. Um, actually, just to let you know that I may be actually going back to India very soon to, uh, to join a friend to celebrate their wedding. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Amazing. This, I want to learn more about the South Asian community. Like, what are the concerns they have told you about? But before that, yes. it's time for a short break. Welcome back to Spotlight. We are talking to Councillor Amanda young -Kaluchi. So, uh, a Councillor, like I was asking, uh, we were talking about the South Asian community. Mm -hmm. Are there any particular concerns that have come up with you regarding the South Asian community? No, actually, there's no particular uh, concerns, uh, you know, within the South Asian communities. I mean, you know, when I knock on the doors or when I talk to the residents, I mean, you know, the, the concerns are quite similar uh, across the board, right? So say, for example, sustainable housing, uh, traffic, transit, those are really, you know, concerns of the community at large. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think that, you know, being part of a community member who lives there, who raised their family there, um, I share their concerns. Very well said. So uh, we are so excited that you're running in the provincial election. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to run for the Liberal Party? Well, you know what? Um, like I mentioned before, that because I come from a very, very humble background, and I believe in uh, the value that the Liberals uh, share, uh, such as mm -hmm. you know treating everybody e equally, uh, very, being very inclusive, um, and uh, liberals are also very welcome uh, immigrants as well. So I think mm. that those are really, really uh, the core values that I also share as well. Mm. Not to mention that, like you know, within City of Markham, uh, the liberal governments have done a lot of work for City of Markham, such as Markham Stovall Hospital expansion, Go Line, a Go Line expansion. Viva Line expansion, um, and also the York University is coming to Markham, mm, first ever nice. in York, York region. So I think that those are the key things that the Liberal governments have done, and it's proven uh, for uh, City of Markham. And uh, you know, outside of that, you know, like if you're lo looking at a broader sense, um, you know, the Liberal governments has balanced budget. Mm. Okay, so this is huge, and while the economy is growing. And um, at the same time, uh, we are also able to provide grants, which is free tuition, to low and middle income family. Mm -hmm. This is really important things. Uh, I believe that not just for Markham residents, but it's also for Ontarian as well. So this is exactly why I picked the, the Liberal uh, Party to, to run in this uh, riding of uh, Markham Unionville. Very well said. So something in line with your principles, Absolutely. your goals, everything that you have showcased through your life, yes. you know, to help uh, the community at large. Yes. So it does make sense. So we are so excited yeah, that this yeah, is yeah, happening. Yeah. For sure. How can we as viewers support you in your efforts? Well, I would say that, um, you know, when it's time to vote, come out to vote, obviously. Uh, but I, in the next uh, few months, I'll be knocking on doors. Uh, so come talk, you know, open the door and come talk to me. Um, you know, whenever that I have events, um, you know, come and see me and my door is always open for you. And, um, you know, if for whatever reason that you're not able to talk to me in person, you can always give me a call or send me an email. I, my, I'm here to listen. My ears is all yours. Very well said. Is there uh, some website that viewers can go to for more information in addition to watching us today? Yes, absolutely. My website is www.voteamanda.ca and my email is amanda at voteamanda.ca. Nice. 
I love it. Uh, you're uh, truly the right choice, in my opinion, and I'm sure the viewers believe it today, too, after hearing your whole story today. Yeah. I'm going to digress for a bit. We, sure. <laughs> we heard uh, you are the wonderful mother, in addition to being the community mom, which I call universal mom. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. But you have two uh, lovely children. Yes. A wonderful husband. Yes. Tell us a little bit. You're so busy with everything that mm -hmm. you do. You don't have one free minute to spare. Do you have yeah. time for... Well, you, well, well, you know what? Uh, every year we always go camping mm. and we make it as our family tradition. And we'll camp for a week, <laughs> basically. And in Algonquin Park, no phones, nothing. So it's just being locked in, <laughs> in the forest. <laughs> but I think this is a great family time uh, to spend there. Um, at the same time, you know, like, um, you know, Christmas time, uh, things like that. Um, I'm really adamant about uh, spending uh, those special moments uh, time with the family, because I do believe that, yes, yeah, um, as someone who's elected, um, you know, not that we have to look after the community, mm -hmm. but we also have to look after our family as well. And also yourself, obviously, right? Very so take well care said. of yourself and you'll know, have good health and you'll know, always, you know, if you don't take care of yourself, you will not be able to take care of, you know, the community and, and other people. Very well said. An all-rounder who is so grounded. Uh, yeah. The true traits of an amazing community leader. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for inspiring us today, Counselor. Thank you. I have a request for you for our viewers mm -hmm. watching us who aspire to be like you someday. You know, uh, there are lots of immigrants who come here and struggle, but look at you. Yeah. Look at where you are. You're an amazing success story. Do you have any words of advice for them? Absolutely. What I would say is, Dream the big dream, believe in yourself, and never give up. Embrace challenge, and we will see success. Thank you so much, Counselor, and we wish you all the best for the provincial election, Thank and you. we are going to be there to support you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you Thank so you. much Thank again. You. So that was Counselor Amanda Yankolucci. She inspired us today to follow our dreams, work hard, persist so that we can achieve our goals. And she has also inspired us today to support her in the upcoming 2018 elections. Well, that's a wrap for this week's show. Thank you for watching us. Continue to Facebook us and Twitter us and write to me at spotlight at ethnicchannels.com. Until next week, this is Amita signing off, encouraging you to do your part in supporting our community leaders.